Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Mark here. I'm back with another vlog for you. Um, a little bit of uh, an announcement I'm going to make. And i uh, given this a little bit of thought, and I'll, but I'm going to get on to that uh, in a few moments. Now, there was one thing I wanted to mention in my vlog yesterday. I just I just forgot to bring it up. I just you know the other day was New Year's, and I just was wondering: Do any of you guys have any uh, New Year's um, traditions, things you like to do every year? I mean, people have Halloween traditions and thanks Christmas traditions and whatnot. Does anyone have any New Year's traditions? You know, everyone always talks about New Year's resolutions, and and uh, if you have any res New Year's resolutions. That'd be, be cool to hear from you guys, see what kind of things you're thinking of. You know, leave the comments below. Uh, as far as me, it's just to try and make an effort to make 2012 a better year than, for me at least, than 2011. Uh, as far as traditions, the one tradition that, uh, that I have, and it has to do with me and my dad, and... Um, it has to do with a TV show. Uh, years ago, my dad and my uncle got me hooked into this old show that they watched when they were younger. As a show, and uh, a local channel here in Jersey, the WPIX or Channel 11. I'm not sure uh, what channel that would be uh, in your area, but here in this area, they do a marathon. There's an old TV show called The Honeymooners. Which I watched it once and got hooked on it, like I said, like decades ago. And it's, it's an old show, back when you still had like live TV and live commercials and all that. It uh, came out in the 50s. It was only on for one season, but it's it's such a great, funny show. And really kind of groundbreaking. There's things that they do in that show that you just, you wouldn't see in TV now. TV has evolved so much. And uh, the four main characters you had, uh, Ralph, Ed, Trixie, and Alice. Those are two good friends and always getting into all kinds of schemes and whatnot, and, and the two wives. And they're comedic legends. They've all went on to other things. Uh, the, the main character is played by an, an actor who's since passed on uh, named Jackie Gleason. Anyone who knows anything about television history and comedic history, the guy was a legend in uh, in just TV and comedy. He was just so good, so good at what he did. And in fact, was uh, he didn't like to rehearse. He liked to do his show and take the script and just let the cameras roll, and that was it. And he did it, and it, it was just... If people made mistakes, they would cover it up, and they would... You know they would make the best of it, and it was just um, just a really great show. And it's it's one of those shows. It's like yeah, no, it's old, it's black and white. But so I don't know if you you guys have any of you guys have ever heard of this show or have ever seen it. So maybe you, some some of the other guys out there uh, watched the show on New Year's like I did, and it's just sort of become a tradition. Is we always stay up a little late. And, and uh, watch a few episodes on the, the marathon, and, and then it's on the whole next day. And whatever I whatever episode I can't, I try and just tape a bunch during the during the course of the night while I'm asleep, and I'll watch them the next day. On on what is probably one of the greatest inventions there is, and that's the DVR. Love the DVR, and I want I'll show you here. This is a little picture. Hopefully you could see that on camera. A few, year, couple, few years ago at a, like a sci-fi collectible show, this woman here, whose name is Joyce Randolph, and she's the only one of the cast that's still alive, she was actually at this show, and I met her with my dad, and she signed this photo. So this is an old black and white photo, photo, and this is basically a still from one of the episodes. So if you, that'll give you a little bit of an idea of what the show looked like. And she was really nice, and she looked great for her age. She had to be, I don't know, 70s, maybe, or old, I'm not sure. But there's one of my many 
one of my many uh, autographs that I've gotten over the years. So that's that's that show. Uh, so, so yeah, that's my kind of New Year's tradition. That it's it's just become a thing. It's like ever since Channel Eleven started doing this marathon, and they do it every year. And so that's been kind of my tradition. It's we always look forward to that every every New Year's. Like, oh, got to put on the the honeymooners. Uh, it's midnight, ball dropped. Got to put on the honeymooners. So so yeah, that's that's my little tradition. A uh, couple other little things I wanted to share with you. Uh, now I work at a supermarket, as some of you may know, hopefully, and hopefully you can see this. We had this box that was used for in in the store as a display for socks and it was it was empty we were done with it it was about to be thrown out so I saw this see and you got these little kind of plastic hooks on there which I thought would be perfect for action figures so I took this home and this is basically all my vintage uh, carded figures and these few in front are are uh, on punch so I they just saw it kind of sitting in front and I got various figures in here it's you know I got as a fleet trooper an R5 D4 I don't know if you could see this uh, it's hard to, to do it there's my other uh, arc trooper commander general Lando you know but you, you you know you get the idea various other clone troopers whatnot so I just I thought I'd show you that, and also in my vlog the other day, uh, I talked about again for those who watched my videos before back in October I did the whole month. I I missed actually missed day one because I was kind of unsure whether or not I wanted to do the the vlogging all month. So the first video actually was from October second. So, but after that, I hit the whole rest of the month through Halloween. And so I, I decided I wanted to, you know, uh, new month, new year. I thought I'd, I decided I wanted to do some more vlogging again. And real quick, I'll show you a little co-star there. Now, this is might seem a little weird, a guy my age having a pillow pet. And I like to call this guy Mr. Blowhole. And uh, he was used in some, a couple of my videos. He kind of uh, helped. I uh, he helped me uh, with a couple of the skits I did. A couple of the, the videos I did were little skits. And one day I'll have to do another video on to talk about the origins of Mr. Blowhole and why I got him. It's it's sort of weird. I don't know. Uh, I got I bought this other thing the other day, a couple weeks ago. It's like a. For those of you who played Mario games, will recognize this. And if you hit it, yeah, it does that? It's a little, you know, question block cube. So that's that's that whole thing. But um, all right, we're all right. We're hitting like nine minutes here, so I'm gonna get on to my announcement. I gave a little bit of thought about this. And I'm going to do, at least I'm going to make it a, a good, honest attempt at this. I am doing vlog year, which I'm going to attempt. Now, in addition to my action figure reviews, my Star Wars reviews, uh, now, like, I, like I said, with yesterday's vlog, is it, there, there's gaps where I don't have things to review or I don't have time. To do a review and filming and putting up putting up a vlog uh, just takes a lot less time because um, the vlogs are just kind of just simpler to do. It's like whatever I want to talk about. Uh, so when I don't have figures, at least this way I will have the vlogs going up, hopefully, and that way I should have constant material for my channel. And I am deciding that I am going to do vlog year in which I'm going to attempt to vlog every day this year 2012 
which should be crazy. You know, there may be days where I film and then maybe the video doesn't get up until the next day. But we'll see. It all depends on timing and how much time I have and when I have time to vlog. And but uh, you know, we'll 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 see. We'll see. It should be a fun, interesting ride. We'll see what I come up with. I've I'm sure I can come up with, up with interesting stories to tell you about. And um, if I think of a skit, maybe we'll there'll be a skit or two. You know, there's 363 more days left in 2012, so there's plenty of time to think of stuff. And so yeah, that's it. That's gonna be it for for now. And again, nothing the the the, time, the length of time in these vlogs should will probably vary. When they go up is going to vary. It's going to be all over the place. So uh, I can't say when they're going up at a certain time of day. You know, it'll, it'll be different. It'll be different each day. So this is uh, day two, and uh, we'll we'll see how long I can go. You know, if I miss a day or two. You know, in between, you know, that may happen. But I'm going to try to not. We'll see what I can do. And that's that's pretty much it for for today. And uh, I'll just sign off. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope everyone is having a great day. And so long. Bye-bye.